Maybe this light. There we go. Morning. It's uh, raining. I want to go downtown Toronto today and uh, meet up with Ashley at her new job and uh, see some other cool stuff. But uh, it's raining. So apparently Ashley's setting me up with a nice parking spot right downtown. She works for a courier service because she's a real legit bike messenger now. And I get to go park in their parking lot. Hopefully they understand how big this van is. We'll, uh, we'll see very shortly. Hey, Winnie! And a Westie over there. Nice. So these guys are cool, they let me park here, but check it out, you got cool motorbikes, my van. Got a Westie right over here. And right over here, a little Winnie, a mini Winnie. Winnies are just so open. Open design, big square box. Beautiful though. Look at that back window. Just behind me, that's Fort York. It's pretty much the only thing that stood here 200 years ago. And uh, it was mainly used by the British to fight off the Americans when they came across the border in War of 1812. So that was Toronto, that was York. Now this is Toronto. <laughs> Wild, eh? This is a music garden. I'm just gonna start filming and hoping that uh, it makes music. I've never heard of this place before. So it's ancient songs interpreted into gardening. As much as it's very pretty in here and there's a birds chirping, the only thing I really hear is the hum of a giant city right on the other side of these trees. up all these boats making me very jelly. I definitely want to get a boat next. Really bad. Um, so yeah, if you're in my route by the way, and you have a sailboat and want to go sailing with me and teach me how, that'd be fantastic. Just like, send me a, a message and stuff and we'll, we'll make it happen. Well, maybe we can trade these. You take the van, I'll take the boat. At least you can't sink my van. Wow, this place is cool. This little bike. Hi, 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 hi. It's so wet today. It's very moist. And I left my raincoat with my uncle. The Sarah Bebe is on drip right now. Actually, no, we just switched to Tableau and we have a Colombian. You probably won't like it. It's very like tomato or really acid. Okay. <laughs> uh, we have a Gingur that's super good. Uh, I think we have a Miri, which is a Kenyan, and we have a <laughs> This is legit. They have an automatic machine that does the pour over, pouring over for you. It does the pouring. 
That's amazing. Oh, it's like a science experiment. Let's see how it tastes like. Yeah. Yeah, that first taste I didn't taste it, but the second taste I got a little bit of floral notes and stuff. <laughs> overdose today. Best way to spend a rainy day. No dance moves? <laughs> she was dancing a second ago. We're, we're back in the van. I have a theory. Okay, so I've been having all these issues with the van, right, for the last little while. And the first thing I tried was the timing. I thought the timing had been off. I'm going back to that first thing I tried. Because Whatever is wrong with it, I've already tested once and found a false negative. So, because I've tried everything. I've literally tried absolutely everything. I've tested every single possible thing it could have been. So, something somewhere in there I got some test wrong. So I'm gonna try the timing because it's super easy and it's been coughing out the front just a little bit. It's hesitant on the power, it's overheating. I think it's too far advanced. So I'm going to back it up a little bit and try that out. can't tell if it's changed anything. It sounded a bit weird the first time I started it, but uh, supposedly they have self-adjusting timing anyways, so everything I do is pointless, but if they did have that, then why would the distributor cap be adjustable? So I'm just going to uh, assume everything I've read and everything I've been told is wrong, and try this one out and see how it performs. Ashley, do you like being back in the van? I do, but you're being a little grumpy. Well, I'm, I'm not, okay, look, I'm not, I'm not being grumpy. I'm a very level-headed human being. You're very level-headed, that's true, but you're currently being a little grumpy. My house is a disaster. This house is very messy, and he's a little upset about it. Stresses he's, me out. I'm waiting on, I like... I know, but we can clean it. It's fine. It's one little issue. Oh my god, the AC is hilarious. Anyway, I'm going to give it the full stress test. I've got AC on max. I'm going to just throttle all over the place, and if it overheats, then I'll know. And if it doesn't, then I'll know. Ready. 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 All right. So far, it's not so good. Temperature's starting to climb a little bit, which uh, it has no business doing. And uh, throttle response is dreadful. So yeah, maybe I tweaked it too far. Maybe I might go halfway back. We'll 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 we'll, we'll test again. We'll see some other stuff. It feels different though. It does feel different. It's like maybe. It was too far advanced before, now it's too far retarded now, and I have to like get it somewhere in between. Maybe I have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe. Maybe I should stop right now. All right, I set the ignition timing back to uh, halfway to where it was before, and I cleaned out the PCV valve and that other breather valve thing, I don't know. Anyway, I cleaned them both out, just on a hunch, and I could. And now we're gonna go get some food, and then we'll come back and we'll test serve the van again. So this is like, so this is dashi agadashi, which is like fried, deep fried tofu with uh, like a honey and a kind of sauce, green onions, and then it's gonna like, it's gonna be like a uh, kimchi red sauce, like tomato sauce. Quite sweet, and good. Sweet and crispy, and then like, yeah, quite hot, quite delicious. Honey shot. Oh, oh, yeah, I came a little bit. 
Is that as good for you as it was for me? I think it was. Yeah. Food's great. I'm very tired now. I'm gonna go lie down in my hammock in a park. Maybe? Yeah. Maybe a park hammock. Maybe park hammock beers. Maybe. I'm not getting anything productive done today. Simon, what happened? Am I funny, Bob? <laughs> ah, I hate it. You gotta fix this. I hate that too! <laughs> you know, he's, he's, everything in my life is half broken. I'm just a half broken man. It's just like one thing after the other. Oh God. I want to go through an entire day without having to fix anything. Just a whole, just a whole day of it. We're going camping tomorrow, so if we just stay in the woods and we don't do anything, maybe nothing will break. I'm gonna break so many things tomorrow. <laughs> I'll have four people in this van, I'm gonna break some shit. For sure. I'm so All excited. Right. See if I've broken the van. So, Ashley and I actually worked in a coffee shop together for the last three, three hours. Um, so yeah, you don't have to be a van dweller to work in coffee shops, man. Just gotta uh, want some good coffee and a fast internet connection. Um, Ashley's gone to go on her uh, all-girls ride. I'm not a girl. I can't go, even just to film. Which bums me out a little bit, but it gives me an opportunity to clean up this house. It's been stressing me out. Because when it's your house and it's also your car, there's just no escape from how sloppy you are. So yeah, time to clean this thing up. And I have no excuse. I have no excuse right now because there's just one of me in here. I have so much free space. Like, I'm not using any of the storage. I'm just still a slob. Cleaning's done. Ish. It's a lot cleaner anyway. Yay. So much room for activities. And uh, now I have to chop up all this wood that I found in the free wood box because I'm going to go camping tomorrow with my cousin and his little boy. I'm very, very excited for that. I think this might be the first time his son has been camping. So. It'd be really cool to get them out. So I've been exceptionally productive and I've got a whole wedding edited. Well, I had started, I did half of it before and I finished the second half of it, so go me. Um, I'm gonna do some van style reheats of a steak dinner here. Uh, van style reheats are a little tricky because I gotta do it all in the frying pan. So uh, especially with steak, you don't wanna overcook it. So I'm just gonna throw everything first into the pan, leave the steak out, and then the last minute, I'll sear both sides of the steak, try not to overcook it, hopefully for a good meal. Well, I was cooking dinner, and it was halfway to the table when the handle, the clip-on handle I use, snapped. The motherfucking steak dinner all over the ground. So now I'm still eating it. It tastes like dog hair and chemical cleaner in the back side of my foot. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna miss out on steak dinner because I'm some stupid handle, some stupid frying pan. One thing, just one thing, like totally ruined my evening. So, I have a beer, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna enjoy my foot steak dinner. Maybe I'll watch a movie. <sighs> so sick of fixing broken things. You know, it's actually pretty good. I mean, there's a few chunks in it that weren't originally there, but you can hardly notice. You know, 
it's not always the thing that goes wrong that ruins your day. It's how you react to it. Sometimes I react to things better than other times, but, um, you know, there's something to learn there. If I had laughed at it, it was funny to me. I might have had a more enjoyable time. So I had a good pick-me-up, watched a lot of Departures, if you guys don't know, especially the American viewers. Uh, Departures is a Canadian show. Um, it's about three guys from Napanee, which isn't far from where I'm from. And it was a huge inspiration to me, uh, getting into travel, getting into wanting to backpack more, wanting to travel in a van, and also, like, huge inspiration. I'd love to be able to get my vlog to where that show was at. It's really fantastic. Look it up. Departures. Um, it's not a Chinese movie, because there's a Chinese movie called Departures. But it's a Canadian TV show with three seasons, and they backpack around the world for three years. It's uh, really, really cool. And they even go to North Korea, Antarctica, Russia, all over the place. It's crazy. Check it out. Um, but for now, I'm going to head to the handlebar, which if you remember Chicago, they have a handlebar in Chicago. Um, wherever you go, handlebar is always like a bike messenger bar. And um, I hear this one's not as trashy as the last one, which I'm kind of upset about. I like trashy bars. I think that's what they're there for, you know. Um, but we'll have a good drink and uh, meet some people and have some fun. Just got a text. Now they're not going to Handlebar. They're going to Sneaky D's. But that's Handlebar. That's my parking spot. It was perfect. Now they're messing with me. I gotta go take a walk. Pfft. I gotta walk through Kensington Market. When it's all shut down, it's kind of ghetto. But it's really pretty, really nice during the day. It's a huge tourist area. It's really cool. If you come to Toronto, you should check it out. We're going to Sneaky D's. Now, Sneaky D's is trashy. It is cheap, and it is cheap for a reason. But, uh, you know, if you're looking for a really affordable night out, it's the spot. Just, I'm just filming your exploration going on right here. <laughs> You're learning, learning whole new things about yourself. She's got her squad goals. She's in good hands. You can leave her here and try. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. You guys are dorks. Hey. I got my legs. I'm out of here. Peace. Oh, you're, you're not riding? Bye.